you pick up any religious scripture. I am a student of compared religion. I have read the Ramayana, Mahabharat, Bible, Old Testament, New Testament, Sikh scriptures, Jain scriptures. I have read it. And you find that in certain occasion or the other, almost all the scriptures, some way or the other, they have mentioned fighting, they have mentioned killing. I can give quotations. If you read the Bible, in the book of Exodus, of the Old Testament, chapter number 22, verse number 18 to 20, it says kill. Exodus, chapter number 32, says kill. Numbers, says kill. New Testament, if you read Luke, in the Gospel of Luke, it says kill. And if you remember the story of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, when he goes to the Garden of Gethsemane, he tells to one of the apostles to take a sword and stand there. And that apostle, he uses a sword to chop off the ear. So you find that fighting has been prescribed in almost all the scriptures. You read the Hindu scriptures. Mahabharat is a scripture. It is what? Bhagavad Gita chapter number 2. And you know that when Arjun, when he feels sad, that when he has to fight his relatives, Arjun says, how can I kill my relatives? There are thousands of people ahead in front of me. How can I kill them? So Lord Arjun, Arjun, he is given guidance by Lord Krishna. And Lord Krishna tells him that as far as for the truth, when you're on the truth, you don't have to see who's in front of you, whether it's a relative or who it is. And that is correct. Truth prevails much more higher than the blood relations. Same thing the Quran says in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 135. Ya amunu, O you believe, stand out firmly for justice as truth to Almighty God, even if it be against yourself, against your parents. Against the rich or against the poor, Allah protects all. So if you study all the scriptures, all the scriptures somewhere or the other, sometime or the other, they have mentioned about fighting. That doesn't mean you pick up that verse of Exodus, you pick up that verse of Bhagavad Gita and say that, you know, Bhagavad Gita says that I have to kill your relatives. It's out of context. So here we have to analyze that to get a communal harmony, the best thing we have to do is we have to go back to our scriptures. If you go back to our scriptures, you will come to know what is mentioned in the scriptures, which is the authentic source of every religion. And we find that the Quran says in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 32, that if anyone kills the ayah which was recited in the beginning of the talk by the Kari, Surah Maida chapter number 5 verse number 32 it says that if anyone kills any human being, whether it be a Muslim or not Muslim, unless it be for murder or for creating mischief in the land, it is as though he has killed the whole of humanity.